Hello everyone, welcome back to the Body Coach TV. This is our fourth and final pregnancy workout in our series of four. What are we doing today? So today, slightly <laughs> different, all you're gonna need is a resistance band. These are great little, little bits of kit. You can get them on Amazon, they're probably like, I don't know, five or a tenner or something. You just order um, resistance bands, they're different thicknesses, so the thinner they are, the obviously the less resistance, the thicker they are, the more resistance. So we're gonna start off by doing 10 exercises with the band, um, 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds rest. You up for it? Yes. So this is a nice, this isn't this really one. a high intensity cardio, so this is more of a slow kind of strength session. So we're gonna be standing on the band. Now, if you stand close to it like this, narrow, obviously it's not as tight. If you more, the more you stretch it, your feet, the more resistance you get, right? So you just decide where you can feel the resistance. Yep. And the first exercise, Rosie, is gonna be a frontal raise, so like a frontal raise at eye level, and then back, and then we go out to the side, lateral, yeah? So off we go, so. Go, like, slightly in front. Yep. So frontal raise, and then we go out, this is working the shoulders. So you're working the front of the shoulder. As you come to the front and out to the side, you're working those lateral deltoids. Really get a nice shape in your arms. How's that feel, right? Yeah, good. So if you don't have dumbbells, you could get this instead, right? You could in do this. this with dumbbells, but yeah, I just thought, because this is a easy bit of kit, you can travel with it. They're yeah. less expensive than buying heavy, you know, dumbbells. It's just a nicer way of training. And what you'll find is the resistance, you can really like adjust it quite easy on the spot. Because like I said, if you want it to be easier, just you can bend your knees slightly. Or yeah. if you want to make it tougher, just stretch that band as much as you can and you'll really feel the difference. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay, next one I'm gonna do is a front squat. So again, stretching the band out. Bring it up just in line with the chest. So we're not trying to put it to our throat, more like in line with our shoulders sort of thing. And from there, when you've got that nice position, you lower yourself down and stand up. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Right, off we go. So this is obviously, you don't feel the resistance really at the bottom because it goes slack, but at the top, you're getting a little bit of extra resistance through the legs. So again, great strength training. Squeeze those buttons. So inhale on the way down. Exhale as you come up. So big breath on the way down. Pack that air into your tummy, brace your core. And then exhale as you come up, good. I feel like every time I squat now in late pregnancy, I'm moving the baby into the right position. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. coming. Not long to go. Right, so we're now gonna try and do a reverse lunge with a shoulder press, so just right foot, foot, in, right foot in, the, uh, in the band, and then we're gonna basically, from here, we're gonna step the left, oh, sorry, it takes a bit of balance, step the left leg back, as you come forwards, do a nice straight vertical shoulder press, so not in front of that, try and get it just directly above the head, yeah? Yep. Okay, let's go, so reverse lunge, feet together, press up, repeat the same leg, we're just doing, 35 seconds on the right side and 35 on the left. So we're doing 10 moves twice, are we? 10 moves, two rounds, and it's 35, 25. So these are good, good little bands, these. Yeah, like you said, if you're going away, you can just stick this in your suitcase and get something done without having any weights. Then you can tie it around a post or, a, you know, a beam and do like pulling exercise where you can do like, look like rowing and sort of pulling down if you've got around a, you know, like a pull-up bar. So you can do pulling exercises, it's great. And it's good that it's adjustable, you can make it easier or harder. So same thing, left foot <clears throat> up to the shoulders. We step Ooh. the right leg back, come feet together, and then we're from there, there we go, nice strong press. Ready for it? Ready. Okay, so shoulder, shoulder, uh, back up nice and straight. Stepping back, feet together, and nice strong, Shoulder press, full extension above the head. Are you feeling strong, Rosie? Because you've really trained a lot. You've trained consistently, haven't you, through this pregnancy? I do feel strong, yeah. I feel, um, oh, I feel pretty tired and exhausted all the time now, but <laughs> strong, not much longer. Tell me about, <sighs> how do you feel on a day you, tell me how you feel differently on a day you exercise versus the day you don't. Well, you've got me into doing it more in the morning and then, I do really feel like it just puts you in a better mood for the day, just knowing you've got it done. Um, Energy-wise, it affects your energy at all? Yeah. Wow. Brilliant. Next one we're going to do... I can't, I can't talk. It's alright, it's hard to talk and exercise at the same, same time. time. So we're going to do a bicep curl, so stretch this, you want to put it, because that's quite loose, you want to stretch it. We're going to do a bicep curl, so elbows tucked into the body, holding the band, and you curl and lower. Excellent, well done. Yeah, I'm glad that you've uh, found these workouts. I hope you've enjoyed them. 
we committed to it. We said we we're going to film the four, and now I think we've got them in the bag. We can relax now. And if you'd like some postnatal workouts as well, let us know in the comments. You know, like the video, share it with your friends and family. And if you can, hit the comments up and let us know what you want to see more of because we can maybe film some when you've had the baby, yeah. getting we'll back to strength, getting back to fitness. You up for it? I'm looking forward to it. I feel, yeah, I feel excited to. Last five. Um, <laughs> exercise postnatally when I'm ready. Yeah, you'll know when you're ready, won't you? You just got to get back into it gently. <clears throat> right, so next one, we're going to step up. We're going to push this above our head. And basically what we're going to do, I'll just show you side on. We're going to keep our elbows tucked in and we're going to straighten those arms. So it's a tricep extension. You're working the back of your arms. Feel that, Rose? Yep. Okay, when you're ready. Here we go. Three seconds. So it's elbows tucked in, full extension. So you're really trying to work those triceps rather than sort of flare the elbows out like this keep them tucked in rows like towards your head and from there push that's really working and the back of the arm feel that you've got you've got to hug the baby in for this one <sighs> oh. brilliant we've got four more moves then we're going to go back through for a second round so it's a 20 minute workout in total and it's about control we're not racing through each exercise look at the time under tension so more really more like time under tension is good because you're going to get strength then, right? So don't feel like you've got to snap it back and push it up quick. Ooh. Control it on the way down. One thing you don't want to do is let it, sometimes you fit it down yeah. and then it snaps. I feel like it's going to snap, but it won't, will it? No, it won't <laughs> snap. Exercise. Next one then, we're going to do a similar thing with the band up by the shoulders. One foot. Right foot in. We're going to do a left curtsy lunge. So we yep. step back like we're curtsying the queen and okay. the feet together, yeah? Right, let's see if we can synchronise. So left. Can any other pregnant women feel me with their trainers not fitting anymore? <laughs> My feet feel so swollen. Really? Is that what happens I don't think that I can wear trainers anymore. Oh. Right. That's the sign that it's like it's just I've coming, isn't it? Like you're near the end now. At least. 15 seconds. Good. So just keeping that band across the chest, across the shoulders. We stretch back. Is that right for you, Rose? Yep. Because the bump doesn't get in the oh, way as much with that, does it? And, and relax, brilliant. So now we're going to switch sides. Just carefully stand into the left, left foot into the hoop. So exactly the same, except we're going to bring that right foot back and across the body and back to the centre. Doing well, Rose? Yeah, it's going to feel strange exercising without a bump now. I'm going to miss it. I know, it's mad in the house. It's there and one day it's gone. I'm used to doing like really wide squats. and. Right, so we're going to step right foot behind our body. Off we go. Yeah, it's got, it seems to have gone quick, this pregnancy, because it's been so busy. Yeah, definitely. Right, we're stepping back. I think that's like why I'm prepared. The <sighs> Mentally prepared, but not physically prepared with <sighs> things. Right. Oh, I'm out, I'm out of tune. Right, let's go. Oh, this burns, Rose. Well, you have just done a, filmed another workout, haven't you? Yeah, I did a leg workout too. Right, so slow it down a little bit, slower. That's it. Last few seconds, three. Two, one, and relax. Right, this is the only one you're gonna Ooh. do. If you're not a fan of push-ups, you no can maybe, bang. you could do some marching on the spot. You could do another squat if you like, but Rose is gonna try and do some box push-ups. It's just box press-ups on the knee. So again, you haven't got to go right down, but you want to keep those elbows tucked in. This is so good for your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. It's a really good exercise. So hug the baby, knees on the ground, lower yourself slowly, and then slowly push up. Good. and obviously just go as low as you're comfortable but you know pull-ups and press-ups the king of upper body moves if you want strong arms you want strong triceps there's nothing better you know it's so good so control it on the way down good so breathe in on the way down exhale as you push up good trying to avoid i know you, rosie's got quite a naturally curved arch lower back i know i always think i've got my back so straight and then i watch it's just back yeah but it's just because you've got a naturally curved spine and you've got a and your bum's quite curvy, so it just looks more curvy than it is in place with the bum. Okay, relax. Right, excellent. Good strength. I mean, look, they're hard, but it really is such a great exercise for your upper body. You've got to stay strong in the lower body and the upper body and the core, so it's good to get those in. So they now are the best exercise. I used to not be able to do... I used to hate them, Rosie. I couldn't do like one or two press-ups. So this time we're going to do a oh. fly. So basically, this you're going to get the band like this across your back, um, and you're going to do a fly. So just sort of mid-back. Yep. That's it. Yeah, Rosie used to hate press-ups, used to hate pull-ups. 
Oh my but people God. always say, you know, I just can't do press ups. <laughs> All I say is you just got to keep doing press ups because the more you do, you know, that even if they're half reps, you then get the strength to go down lower before you know you're off your knees, before yeah. you know you're doing 10, 15 press ups. It happens, it's just strength, it's just consistency. Just like your legs get stronger from squatting and you find that easier, it's the same with the planks, the same with the sit ups and press ups. Repetition creates progression in that. Right, last few seconds. You, you, hate, the chest. you hate something when you think you can't do it, but as soon as you see progress, I think you start to like it. Right, high fives, we've done 10 <sighs> minutes. So you know what's coming now. Well that's, done everyone. That's the 10 moves. So let's try and repeat those. Same intensity, a little bit slower <sighs> with more control. And if the band felt too loose, like if the thing feels really light, just stretch it or you can get a wider band. So yeah, look, do you want to try? No, it's probably a bit, yeah, it's, I am it's quite using tight. A... These are tight. That's, that's a nice easy, easy one to start nice with. One. So remember frontal raise, so we raise up, we come down, and then we go out to the side. I'll go forward a bit. So frontal raise, shoulders, and then we go out. Oh, it feels heavy. This is heavy, this one, on these ones. So front raise, lateral raise. Can you feel that in shoulders, Rose? Yes, I can really feel it. Front raise. So it's a nice slow a tempo way. this workout, but it's still really good strength training. It's good for you and the baby. This is my ideal workout, you know, actually. Is it? Yep. Uh, right. I like slow and controlled, but where I can still really feel it in my muscles. Right, well, front squats for, for oh, yeah. the win. So both feet on again, stretch it a bit more if you need to. Bring it up. Nice. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to put it behind there because it, it pulls you down like that. So it's better to get in like a front squat position. Imagine you've got that's a barbell, look there, that's a barbell. Load yeah. it just gently on the chest. Okay, so we go down slow and push up. So I'll ask you one more time, and I've asked you loads of times, but any inclination what this baby could be? <laughs> got any ideas? Got any feelings? I'm saying girl, but. I think boy, I had a dream it was a boy, but I honestly think I'm be so happy either way. That's why I love, we always keep it a surprise. And um, I love that moment of finding out and then texting everyone and and it's a boy with a girl. It is the best surprise. <sighs> right, last yeah, couple. You... I've been oh. wrong both times before, so it's probably the opposite of what I think. And everyone goes, oh, I knew it was going to be a girl. No, you were saying it was a boy all the way through. Yeah. People go, oh, they just go, oh, I knew it was. Right. Yeah, I think I thought Indy was a boy till the end. So Remember we're going to do a reverse lunge. Good. Right foot on the band. So you're going to lunge back. Then when you get back lunge to the centre, yeah, so try not to push it like this forward, push it literally directly above the head, so really strong shoulder press. You ready? Left leg goes back, feet together, press up, good. I'll tell you, let's make this a bit tougher. Let's do a pulse, so go back and pulse. Ready, one, two, and up. Good. We've got a, two. We've got a child joining uh, us again. And up. <laughs> We're nearly done, Indy. And up, good, last 10 seconds. One, of home two, house. and up, good. Last five seconds. One, two, and up. Done, we're just finishing this workout. <sighs> can you wait in the living room? No, when I come Can you in wait in the minute. living room and I'll bring you a yogurt in a minute? <laughs> so we're changing legs, right foot. If you wait in the living room, I'll bring it up in five minutes. Yeah? I'll bring it up in a bit, darling. Right, we're gonna change legs. Always asking for food. She's obsessed with food. <laughs> Indy, we'll be five minutes, okay? Well, actually, it's a lie. It'll be seven minutes. Seven minutes left. Press. So let's do the pulse. So we go pulse, pulse, feet together, press. Pulse, pulse, feet together, press. Ah, that's good. 20 seconds left. Drive it up. Excellent. 15 seconds on the clock. So strength now, really drive those arms above the head. Use your shoulders. Can you feel it in your shoulders, Rose? Yeah, so I direct, like... Directly up, push. Last one. I like an exercise where I feel like it's doing... Yeah, it's really, oh, really good. Such a good Ooh. bit of kit. So I, I ordered a pack of these, um, and it actually they start really thin, and they get thicker and thicker, and obviously the heavier they get, the wider they get, so the thicker they are. They're really good. You can tie it around like a post. Like hold that if you're like a post, just in the middle. All right. You can do things like, you know, like rowing. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of things you can do with yeah. it. They're really good. Yeah, you use these a lot in the gym. Don't Bicep you? curls. Yeah, no, they're great. Two feet on. They're like a cheap version of like a cable machine, so you can 
as long as you've got a fixed point, like a beam or a, a post or a pull up bar, you can literally do everything. And I actually use a broom handle. So I put this oh, yeah. on, loop it through and put a broom handle. Like so, so, so for example, this exercise, I could use a broom handle with. It's just like a barbell, so good. And obviously it's, it's lighter at the bottom of the move. And as you stand up and stretch, the, the um, resistance increases. So it's a really nice way of training the muscles in a nice, safe way, especially when you're pregnant. Four, three, two, and one. Right, we're now gonna stand on the band. We're gonna, from oh, here, yeah. so naturally <laughs> your arms wanna like flare out of this, right? But try, if you can, to bring them in. Oh, really works the triceps. Oh, I'm doing feel it. it. You started time. a bit early. Yeah, I would definitely do this after pregnancy as well. Right, here we go. Perfect Nearly there, Rose. Last five moves. You ready? So elbows tucked in. Straighten those arms mm -hmm. at the top. I'm actually seeing my hands are really close together. Yeah, like that. I see that feels more natural. So push them. Let the hands sort of come together, and, and then straighten really those arms. I have to keep my elbows in. I can really oh, it's a nice it. stretch on the way down. You can feel it stretching your triceps and your lats. Oh, I'm a stretch. No, Rose, honestly, I'm so, I'm so proud of you for training all through this pregnancy. I, you've just really just, you've, you've kind of just fallen in love with it, haven't you? Like, you don't need to be reminded, you just do it. It's become a habit, right? Yeah, it, it does become a habit. Because I feel like I used to be like, go on, go and do a workout. And I never <laughs> need to say that because you just do it. Do you know what I mean? I you do. Enjoy it. Yeah, no, you do. Honestly, I'm not just saying that. I, I think you've really that you've found like your motivation, like your intrinsic motivation. And just knowing that you don't Percy have Lund. to go and do an hour in a gym. You can do 20 minutes, and it really feels like enough. Sometimes I walk around the house and there's a pair of dumbbells on the floor, a kettlebell all over the place, and I'm like, where's that come from? But <laughs> that's uh, so left leg goes across, yeah. Oh yeah. Because Rosie just things. ends up ends up pulling a set of dumbbells out and doing a workout like when the kids are well, not running about. That's the thing, with especially with the kids running around, if I get a moment where they're like playing nicely, I just think, right, pick it up, just do it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah the thing, like, little, even like it. a little 10 minutes of squats or something, whatever, it's, it all adds up, it all counts. So always think, don't, don't think like you need this perfect hour where you've got time or you've got the gym or you've got your kids asleep. You can, you can work around them, you have to sometimes. There's nothing wrong with sticking a bit of Disney Plus on and while they're watching The Incredibles or Toy Story, you're in the background doing a few squats. So that's fine, it's a good way of just getting it done. If they're happy and distracted sometimes, I'll even just do a few press ups or something. Even just doing little bits throughout the day, I think. At Adds least up, I've got it, it yeah. done, yeah. But it feels good. Right, so remember, just don't let this drop down. Keep it close to your chest, on your chest and waist, like that. And then we go right leg back. That's it, we've got last two exercises after this. These 20 minute workouts go quick, especially when you're chatting away like us. Hope you're enjoying the uh, workouts. And if you are looking for some postnatal content as well, let us know in the comments below and we'll get some videos filmed. Um, and there's also some great workouts on the Body Coach app if you want to give that a go. There's some really good beginner workouts to get you back into fitness after your labour and your birth. Um, let us not, know where you are in your pregnancy I wonder if anyone's doing this full term and rest yeah or if weeks, not I might send you into labor just come back to your uh, I'll put these down a sec just come back to your press uh, press ups come back to YouTube yeah but I can say yeah press up so last set on here and I better do them with you Ooh. shouldn't I I've cheated the last set I'll do it on the on concrete. here ah. so yeah knees on the ground and again try not to flare your elbows out of this here. try and tuck them in tuck the baby in first I'm good. So yeah, your belly's just hitting the ground. If you obviously have a massive, massive bump, it. just do it shallow. I just show like a, a half a half a press up. So I still you, really feel that. Like a half there, look, yeah. So it's half a press up. So you're sort of just doing half the range. You're still working the triceps. Right. Especially after those moves we've just done, oh. I can really feel it. Okay, last few seconds. Five, four, three. Two and one. Ah, oh, Rosie. Ooh, was that the last one? I've got the no, chest fly. <laughs> I'm going to use this heavy one oh, for the last one because you need a bit more resistance. Okay. Um, you just want to use the easier one, don't you? You'll just you'll feel that more. Can't keep so, me. <laughs> arms are nice and straight, and it's like a flat. Ooh, yeah, keep it. So you don't want it doing that. It rolls up your neck. So keep yeah. it just sort of mid back, and your elbows come Ooh. through, and you'll feel that tension. This is working your pecs, your chest, right? So ready? Feel the difference there? 
Yeah. So it's good if you have a couple on site on hand so you can actually adjust the bands for different exercises. Rose, you've done so well. Another 20 minute workout well in the done, bag. Well everyone as well. 37 weeks. You're still going strong. It's just going to make, you know, it's going to make it, so, when you want to get back into exercise, it's going to be so easy because you're literally going to have a few weeks out rather than having months out. That's why it's so important to stay active during your pregnancy. And it just makes it, your mental Ooh. health is going to improve as well. Nice. Last one. Yes. Ooh. Yay. We did it. <laughs> we said it about a month ago. We said, we're gonna, when we started filming it, we said, we're going to shoot four and we've just been taking so long. We've got it I done. I mean, it's probably been, yeah, about six weeks or something since we said that. <laughs> so what do you think of the banded workout? I loved that. I'm going to come back to this one. That's perfect workout for me. Yeah? Yeah, hopefully you liked it. Well done, everybody. And listen, good luck with your, if you are pregnant, good luck with your baby. And I uh, hope it all goes well. And yeah, keep in touch on YouTube or on Instagram with any comments and DMs. It's nice to hear if you're enjoying these videos. And um, yeah. And come back and do this one after pregnancy as well. Cause yeah, all of these are great all of these are great. And there's loads of beginner workouts as well on here. So um, thanks again. Hit Thank subscribe. you for joining us. Hit subscribe, <laughs> share, like, comment. And then we'll see you soon with another workout here on the Body Coach TV. See you see later, you everyone. See you soon. Thank you. High five. Well done.